everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I'm using a sketch to create a sweet outdoor adventure layout. In this video, I'm going to show you a new way to use your pops of color or Nouveau Dot liquid embellishments. I can't wait to share this project with you. This month's sketch in the Dusty Fanatics group is packed with photos, which makes it the perfect design for all these adorable fishing memories I have. The sketch shows six small photos, some florals, and a few little background pieces. I'm using five photos, which were taken on a bright day in the summer. Our niece has this greenish yellow color shirt, and our son is wearing a mahogany color. So I'm going to be using this striped pattern as the base for my color palette. I've also grabbed a few other simple patterns of paper that I want to use along with these chipboard items from Dusty Attic. I have some little fish hooks, a background piece, and a title that says, Just a Little Adventure. As I create the page, I'll bring in a few more items and I'll make sure to add them to the supply list in the description below along with a link to the Dusty Fanatics Facebook group. I'm going to add the two striped papers on the sides to create a frame, and my photos are going to sit on the page just like they're shown on the sketch. I did change the size and rotation of the photos on the right because I only have five photos, but I think this works out much better because my photos were oriented vertically and it's going to be hard to crop them down and get a feel for what was going on. For my frames, I'm going to bring in a few natural colors. I'm going to use up some of my cut apart pages on this page. Most of these have a natural frame and I'm going to take advantage of those behind my photos. Behind all of this, I'm going to bring in a softer blue paper. The sketch shows a square pattern behind all of the photos, so I'm going to trim this down to fit the page. I have cut that pattern piece down to 8.5 by 8.5. I decided on a different frame for the two left photos because I want to bring in more of the blue, and this pattern has a much better contrast next to that wood color frame. I also cut around those leaves at the top of the frame because I want to create a cluster of embellishments here, and these are going to be a nice backdrop. In the sketch, there's a background pattern that could be created with paper or stenciling. I'm going to use this chipboard background and place it behind those photos. At the base of the page, I'm adding the Just a Little Adventure title. It fits perfectly in this space. And then I'll add those little fish hooks around the page to form a visual triangle of elements. I'm not quite sure where exactly I want these to go, so for now I'm just going to place them in the same spots as the embellishment clusters on the sketch. Now that I have a rough idea of where my items are going to sit, I'm going to add some color to these chipboard pieces. I'm going to start with the mesh background and add some paint to it. I'm starting out with a brighter blue-green, and then I'll bring in a darker black-blue. These are two of the colors that are found in many of the pattern papers and die cuts that I'm going to be adding to the page. The brighter blue was randomly dry brushed onto the chipboard, and then I brought in the dark blue and added it to other areas of the piece. As that second coat was drying, I brought in another layer of the bright blue and I blended it in with the darker blue. I am using a dry brush to add my layers of paint because I want my brush strokes to show and I also want this paint to dry a little bit faster. The final coat is a stippling of tan paint. With a dry brush, I'm just going to pounce a little bit of this paint over the top and give it more of that rugged outdoor feel. While the mesh background dries, I'm going to add some color to my fishing lures. Most of our fishing lures have a shiny finish, which is designed to attract fish. So I'm going to replicate that with some pops of color paints and Nouveau drops. These typically dry rather quickly. So I'm going to add a drop of extender into each of these little palette cups 
and mix it in with the paint. If you choose to add color to your fish hooks, you can add details and fill in all the spaces like I am, or just keep it simple and add small amounts of color. I'm using a finer brush to paint these, but if painting isn't your happy place, just grab a sponge dauber and blend a few of the colors together. As that paint dries, it's going to have a shiny finish, which is similar to fishing lures. If you'd rather have a matte finish, you could add color with sprays, watercolors, crayons, acrylic paint, or ink. The colors I chose are the same colors that I have in that striped pattern paper. Adding those brighter colors is going to give a more playful feel to my outdoor layout. All right, I'm going to finish these off camera and bring in my title piece. Let me show you real quick what those fishing hooks looked like now that they're dry and finished. I added a little bit of white paint at the base to each one to bring in some highlights, and then I sanded a few of the edges just to give it a more of a worn feel. I also added some white paint to these title pieces. All right, now that all of my chipboard pieces are complete and dry, I'm going to start putting my page together. As you can see, I decided not to add the two side striped patterns. I know that that's what the sketch shows, but I don't feel like they are a good fit for the page. Instead, I changed out the background paper for one with a closer grid pattern and tucked that mesh behind two of the corners. One of the most enjoyable aspects of using sketches is the process of interpreting them. Designers like me create sketches as a starting point. Viewers let their imagination run free as their mind absorbs the ideas, which leads to a wave of creativity as your memory page is created. Interpreting sketches can often lead to unexpected creative ideas, like not adding those side pieces and adding the mesh background instead. Some of these are ideas that you may not have initially considered. You can also bring in your own unique perspective to the creative process as you are following a sketch design. You can choose to change the orientation of the photos, change the orientation of the sketch, add your embellishment clusters in different spaces of the page, or just use a small portion of the sketch on your project. Whenever I use sketches, I just embrace the potential and use the parts and pieces that I want to add. Now, as you can see here, I have already started creating those embellishments clusters in roughly the same areas as shown on the sketch. I started with some wood grain circles and placed them down on the page as my anchor pieces. These did have phrases printed on them, but I wasn't worried about that text because I knew it would be covered up with all of my other layers. I also brought in some botanical pieces made of chipboard and cardstock. These are a nice complement to the blue and help to create flow on the page. One of my favorite things to do is add texture. I have added some with chipboard and botanicals, but I want to bring in some more with the fishing lures I created. I'm going to loop some twine through the ends of these pieces and tie some decorative knots. These are going to look more like fishing lures and bring some great texture to the page. As I continue to add items to this page, I would love it if you tap that subscribe button and let me know that you're new here. If you are already a subscriber, let me know that you enjoyed today's project by tapping that thumbs up icon or leaving a comment below. I would love to know if you enjoy creating with sketches as much as I do. I'm also going to tuck a few phrases on my page. Next to the photo, there was a printed phrase on that frame and it would have worked just fine, but I want to bring in some more of the blue color. So I'm going to add a little sticker here with a staple. The final piece is that title. This is going to lay at the base of the page. I'm choosing to keep it simple with three white chipboard pieces and a die cut below it. The die cut says life is better at the lake and it's printed on a wood grain board. This just adds to the rest of the wood pieces that I've already placed on the page 
and finishes off this page nicely. I'm going to go type up my journaling on that hidden tag and then I'll share the completed page with you. I have brought back the sketch so that you can take a look at the two side by side. Other than the two side pieces, I kept pretty true to the original design. Instead of florals, I used outdoor lake themed pieces. Now it's difficult to see on camera, but I also added some additional hooks here and some rounded safety pins to my fishing lures. Those metal elements give these a more realistic look and add to the masculine outdoor feel of the page. I'm going to share a few close up photos so that you can see all the lovely details I added. The layout I created today records a memory of our son teaching his cousin to fish. My creative process began with a dusty attic sketch and transferred into an awesome page with an outdoor feel. I think my favorite pieces are those fishing lures that I painted with pops of color and nouveau dots. They look almost like the real thing. If you are one who enjoys pinning projects to inspiration boards, I have placed still shots of this project on the Dusty Attic blog and on my website for you to use. To see more creative ideas, visit the Dusty Fanatics group on Facebook. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about the project or the supplies listed below, feel free to post that in the comments. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.